Well, Phil Jackson uh, decides to return to Twitter for the first time in God knows how long. And he, uh, he can't help himself. It's got, he tweets something out basically saying that he agrees with a writer on Bleacher Report by writing, Bleacher's ding almost rings the bell, but I learned you don't change the spot on a leopard with Michael Graham in my CBA days, spelled D-A-Z-E. Let me, let me just tell you what that means. There's an article written about Carmelo Anthony. On Bleacher Report. Being extraordinarily critical of Carmelo Anthony that he's no Michael Jordan, he's no Kobe Bryant. Okay, great. No one ever said he was. So because this uh, author, who's very well respected in the basketball community amongst reporters, takes a shot at Carmelo Anthony, Phil Jackson, like uh, the groundhog, comes out of hiding and decides, let me agree with what he said. And the whole leopard spot thing is that Michael Graham was a bully out of Georgetown who uh, played for uh, half a minute mm -hmm. for the Albany Patroons. He was a bad guy, always was a bad guy, and never changed who he was despite who coached him. Phil Jackson's point there is Carmelo Anthony is what he is. No one can get to him. He's never going to change what he is. And that is a selfish shooter who's nowhere in the same class as guys like Kobe and Jordan. Shots fired. Yeah, I, uh, <clears throat> I don't know why. I don't know why Phil Jackson, unless, of course, it is completely beyond repair now because it it's de definitely, be. definitely seems to be because – Whatever Phil does is going to be under our microscope and it's going to be interpreted by the myriad of press people and media people and us here uh, trying to figure out what in the world he's trying to say. And we, if, if he is actually just trying to be a nice guy and give that guy a little pub on Bleacher Report or whatever, uh, you know, you should just come out and say it. But to do it this way means now it is open fodder for all of us to try to interpret the relationship between Carmelo and Phil Jackson, which... Um, as I sit here right now, not hearing any uh, words from Phil, uh, Phil Jackson, all I can say is that it's got to be completely broken. It's broken. You know exactly what it means. I don't think that you need to interpret it. Well, it is no, what I'm it just is. saying, but now it's open for interpretation, and we're did, all going to take the negative side of it. Well, he so. did the same thing with the other author who took a shot at Carmelo. He, you know, listen, Phil Jackson's the one that gave him the no trade clause. Carmelo has said, if you want to trade me, let's just talk about it. So uh, I don't I think wanna, anybody wants I want to be a Nick, but if you want to trade me, that's on you. Like, for, Carmelo Anthony's not going to dictate the trade this time around because they went to Cleveland. Cleveland said but the no. Amazing, the amazing thing to me is that uh, for the last month, uh, with these two articles and these cryptic messages coming from the Nick president, uh, you are diminishing Carmelo's value, I, I would think. It just seems like, all right, we know that he's a one-man band. We know that he is not a great teammate in a sense that, you know, he doesn't raise the level of everybody else's play. We know that he's horrendous on defense. We know that, you know, he's in his early 30s. We know that he comes with uh, two and a half years left on his contract, which is insane. So uh, all these things are pointing downward. They're all negative, 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 right. negative. So I don't know why would anybody be stupid enough to make a trade of any sort of significance when they know that Phil Jackson and Carmelo Anthony are not getting along. Yeah, I think there's only two teams that are even considerate. And, and one would based, be it tonight. And it's based more on uh, probably personal relationships of players than it has to do with executives or coaches. Phil Jackson, by the way, he's not doing himself any favors either. He comes across as looking terrible. You know, when you take stock of the fact, not even realize this, Phil Jackson has not spoken to the media in New York since before training camp. Well, you know, there's something to be said about that, too, because, you know, let the coach handle it, let all that stuff well, stand out of the way. The, been so, I mean, he didn't speak during the Derrick Rose crap. I, At some point, here's my point in this. If you want to get cute and use social media to take veiled shots at Carmelo Anthony... Be a man about it. Have the press conference. Meet with the reporters after practice and put your words to it. I'm Phil Jackson. I've got 11 rings, and this guy is no Michael Jordan, no Kobe Bryant, and I made a mistake in thinking I had another one.